Surprising Sharks by Nicola Davies, illustrated by James Croft. You're swimming in the warm blue sea. What's the one word that turns your dream into a nightmare? What's the one word that makes you think of a giant man-eating killer? Shark! Shark? Yes, it's a shark. It's a dwarf lantern shark. It's the smallest kind of shark in the world, just bigger than a chocolate bar. Not a giant, certainly no man-eater, and a killer only if you happen to be a shrimp. You see, most sharks are not at all what you might expect. After all, who would expect a shark to have built-in fairy lights, or blow up like a party balloon, or lie on the seafloor like a scrap of old carpet? Like all lantern sharks, this blackberry lantern shark has a light making organs on its tummy. They help it to blend in with the silvery surface of the sea and avoid ending up as dinner for bigger fish. Swell sharks swallow water when they get scared. They blow up to three times their normal size, so they stick fast between rocks. Then no predator can pull them out. This Australian shark is called a wabagong. Its patterned skin matches the rocks and coral on the sea floor so that it can sneak up on a shellfish, crabs, and small fish without being seen. Hammerhead sharks have eyes and nostrils on the side of their hammers. They help to pinpoint the scent of prey and give them all around vision. Saw sharks use their swords to root out hidden Hit root out fish hidden in sand and mud, then grab them with their needle sharp teeth. These are sharks that look like they would come from a monster's toolkit. In fact, sharks come in all shapes and sizes blue shark, nurse shark, goblin shark, cookie cutter shark, angel shark. How can such different animals all be sharks? Look carefully and you'll see all the things they share. Fin and tail for swimming. A shark's tail fins are bigger at the top than at the bottom, unlike any other fish tails. Their tails push them through the water and the fins help them to swim left, right, up, or down. Gill slits for breathing water. Inside the gill slits, there is a very thin layer of skin that lets oxygen from the water get into the shark's blood, just as our lungs let oxygen from the air into our blood when we breathe. Skin as tough and scratchy as sandpaper. A shark's skin is covered with tiny tooth-like scales that help it to be hard wearing. Here's a diagram of the outside of a shark. Tail pelvic fin, dorsal fin, pectoral fin, gill slits, and the shark's skin. This is a diagram of the inside of a shark's body. Jaws that can pop out through the mouth like a jack-in-the-box. Jaws, shark's jaws, aren't part of their heads as ours are. Instead, they're held on by a kind of living rubber band so the jaws can shoot forward fast to grab prey. Rows and rows of spare teeth so that the shark is never without its bite. A shark can have the 3,000 teeth all in rows, one behind the other. As one tooth wears out, the one behind it moves forward to replace it. So sharks always have sharp teeth and use more than 20,000 in their lifetime. A bendy, boneless skeleton that helps stop its sinking. Shark skeletons are made of the tough kind of stuff that makes your ears and the end of your nose. Cartilage. 
It floats in water like a rubber ball. Here's the inside of a shark's diagram. Jaws, teeth, skeleton. But it isn't the basic body plan that makes sharks sharks. It's the shark-ish way they behave. Sharks are always hungry and they're always on the lookout for their next meal. Some even start killing before they're born. Some sharks lay eggs and some give birth to live young. But all baby sharks are just like their parents with sharp teeth and the ability to hunt right from the start. Sand tiger shirts, sharks give birth to just two live young which is all that's left after these two have eaten the other six babies in their mother's belly. Dogfish lay eggs called mermaids purses. They have strings that tangle in the weeds to keep them safe from storms. Port Jackson sharks lay eggs like a corkscrew. They stick in to rock crevices. Shark senses are fine-tuned, ready for the tiniest hint that might mean food. To a hungry shark, the faintest trail of clues is as clear as a restaurant sign. Sharks have tiny holes to let sound into their inner ears. They can hear sounds that are too low for our ears to pick up. Sharks' eyes are on the sides of their heads, so they can see almost as well behind them as they can in front. A shark's nostrils are just under the tip of its snout. Water flows into them as the shark moves forward, bringing any scent with it. Gel-filled pits in a shark's nose can detect food. Every animal has nerves, which are like cables carrying electric messages around the body. The shark's gel pits can sense this electricity. The whole of a shark's skin is sensitive in the same way that your fingertips are. You can tell hot from cold, roughs from smooth, moving from still. A shark can also get all sorts of information from the movement and temperature of the water all around its body. And when at last they're close enough for the kill, they feel the crackle of their prey's living nerves. So they bite in just the right place, no matter what the prey, whether it's plankton or people. Oh yes, it's true. Some sharks do kill people, about six of us a year. Basking sharks suck in more than 10,000 quarts of plankton-filled water an hour. Plankton is the name for the many kinds of tiny animals and plants that drift around the sea with the wind and the tides. A great white is one of just three species that attack people regularly. The other two are the bull shark and the tiger shark. In fact, only 30 of the 500 different kinds of sharks have never attacked humans. Crocodiles, elephants, dogs, and even pigs kill more people every year than sharks do. But every year, people kill 100 million sharks. If you were a shark swimming in the lovely blue sea, the last word you'd want to hear would be human. The end. Here's a little facts about sharks. Sharks have been on earth for over 300 million years and can be found today in every ocean and sea in the world. People see sharks as monsters, but of the 500 different kinds of sharks in the world, only 30 have ever attacked humans, and most feed on shellfish and small fishes. Sharks are predators. They kill only to eat and are as important in the sea as wolves, lions, tigers, and bears are on land.